So we had a very interesting game management decision that I wanted to look further into. So there was, it was a third down and six, and Dallas has the ball in Tampa territory. They're in field goal range, but Tampa Bay only has one timeout left now. They just used their second, and there's only a minute and 26 seconds left. So for Dallas, if you can pick up the first down, well, then you're looking in great shape. You can run out the clock and kick a field goal as time expires, and as long as you make it, then you win the game. Uh, the flip side, of course, is if you don't get it, well, you're down currently. You're not up. So it's not like, you know, if you're tied, it's maybe a different scenario. Maybe you can play a little bit more aggressive. But if you don't get it, you could potentially lose. So what's the correct decision? Uh, I wanted to look into the numbers because these game management decisions are something that I think even people who write off analytics still can understand the logic behind why you would use analytics for something like this. Um, so first thing I did was I checked the fourth down converter bot and there was an issue with it actually. So this is the fourth down uh, decision bot. This is on Twitter. And so what it says is that the recommendation is very strong. You do kick the field goal. However, there's clearly something wrong with this. So I have to actually do some data myself on this because you look at the where it says field goal attempt or excuse me, where it says go for it. Your percentage of succeed winning if you succeed going for it is only at 57%. That should be way higher. Uh, that's a clear error there. So while I'm going to actually use some numbers from this, uh, clearly there was you know some sort of math thing went wrong, and that's okay. I can simply just fix the math thing and then run the formula myself. So first, let's start off with what's the chance of them winning if they decide to go for it? If they do go for it on fourth down. Um, you're going to see the abbreviation ATB. That is according to bot. That is what that means. So according to the bot that I just showed you, uh, which tends to be pretty good, uh, although, again, there's an issue, so that's why I have to do more math. Uh, they say there's a 42% chance that the Dallas Cowboys would get it, which does feel about right to me. That's That seems about right. If they did get it, it would probably be around a 32-40 yard field goal, which Greg Zerline has a 91.3% chance of getting in his career. Now, you could argue, hey, he missed a couple of chip shots this game, so maybe I shouldn't be using career numbers, but... If I don't use career numbers, I just don't know what else to use. So I am going to use that for the formula. Uh, but again, I'm going to use it for both sides here. So it doesn't really help one side or the other. Uh, anyways, so because of that, there is a 38.3% chance that that happens. They go for it. They get it. And Greg Zerline makes the kick. There is still a 4% chance that they win without getting it because they have two timeouts left of their own. That's, again, according to the bot. So uh, basically, you throw it all together, there is a 42.3% chance that they win if they go for it. On the flip side, there is a 79.7% .7 chance that Greg Zerline makes the 48-yard field goal from there. That's his career field goal percentage from 40 to 50 yards, so... Uh, maybe you could argue that's a, a difficult one for that zone. Maybe it should be lower, but again, uh, there might be some individual errors here and there. This isn't a perfectly scientific study to get the exact correct number. This is just getting us in the ballpark. According to the bot, the Buccaneers have a 54% chance of driving downfield and winning if Dallas does make the field goal attempt. And also Dallas can still win. 1.3% uh, of the time with a missed field goal, and then, you know, they still similarly to how they could win with not getting going for it and getting it a little bit lower because there's a smaller likelihood of the missed field goal than them not getting it altogether. And also, field position would be a little bit worse with a missed field goal. So, you look at the bottom, and it's shockingly close. Uh, it's actually exactly two percentage points off. Uh, there's a two percentage point chance better that they win if they kick the field goal than if they go for it, according to my admittedly not perfectly scientific uh, study here, although I would say it's, it's, it's pretty close. I think that you might be a percentage point off here and there, but it's going to both be in the ballpark. So what does that tell us? Well, to me, if it's a two percentage point difference, I'm willing to say I'm not going to kill you either way, because at that point, the, the, the way the game worked itself is going to come into play. And I think this decision itself is a really difficult one because I actually think I probably go against the analytics here. And again, this is the point of analytics, right? Everyone, 
I think who hates analytics will say analytics has a role, but you should also pay attention to the flow of the game. I think everyone in the analytics community agrees with that. I don't think anyone thinks that you should always look and say, okay, that has a 0.1 1 percentage point higher of working if you know in a on a computer, but you know given the game situation, I'm still going to do what the analytics say, even if there's actually logic to not do that. Because this is all just, you know, again, you have to understand the context of this. Uh, you haven't, you only have a small sample size of these two teams playing each other. But clearly, from what we've seen, both teams are having a really difficult time stopping the other team. So I think it makes sense to try to win the game with your offense than your defense when the numbers are this close. Because again, this is these numbers are made in a vacuum using every single team, which is different than using the two teams that are currently playing. And especially with the way the game is playing, I'd rather give Dak Prescott a shot, let him try and get the first down. And if you do, then Brady is off the field. It's very similar to how when you're up. I mean, basically think about it as what if the Dallas Cowboys were up one point and they had a fourth down and six. Then if they went for it, I think people would be more understanding of that, even though that's virtually the same situation. Uh, I would lean towards Dallas going for it, but I'm not going to kill Dallas for not going for it. To me, that's a very, very difficult decision to make. So that's kind of what makes it fun. And, you know, I think that it's a fascinating scenario. Usually there's a clear example of a clear, uh, usually there's clear data to say this is what you should have done or this isn't what you should have done. Uh, so the fact that there's one that they're really, it's not clear to me. I think that's pretty fun. So yeah, uh, let me know in the comments below. What do you think about all of this? Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.